Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to part 52 of my Let's Play Harvestella series. This is a series where we take a look at uh, Square Enix's attempt at the classic farm sim genre. However, it is still pretty JRPG. But that's okay, because we love Square Enix, we love RPGs, and we always like to give new farm sims a chance. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm excited. We're gonna get to the top of the tower today and find out more about what's happening. Aw, oh, we don't get to hear Arya talk to us in, during the day anymore or at night. Oof. Yeah, we did not make money yesterday, but that's okay. All right, sunny day. Keeping the clouds away. Now, we did just plant a whole bunch of new seeds. Oh, nice. We got some stuff to harvest. Hello, little puppy. Obviously, the way they're set up. Let's do this. Hmm. If I go this way. Yeah, we'll, we'll want them this way. Think of puppies. So we'll have a little bit that we can sell, but honestly, I think I'm gonna keep a lot more of them just to make more food. Because we're still, we still have tons of money, which is awesome. The veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. Well, that they are. All right, we got the Think the oranges. They're basically oranges, but from the winter time. Got all of that, which is good. Uh, we'll sell that. Keep these. Um, I'm gonna keep a left. Oh, we only have seven. Okay, well, we'll keep those seven then. At least sell this and this for now. Let's go and see what we can grab here. Kyogiro one. Man, I can never, um, I, I know that they're cloth owls, but for some reason I always blink when I'm trying to think of what they're called, which probably isn't the best thing, but it's okay. I always remember the Woolums, but the cloth owls, I, I have to think about it for a few seconds. That might just be a me thing though. All right, let's take out the eggs, we'll take out the milk, we'll get some more pepper going. Um, yeah, we'll get some more pepper and more rainbow bees. Okay. Farm look is pretty good wing exercise. Mayonnaise, pepper, cheese smoke, rainbow beans. Perfect. All of that is handled. Oh goodness. Um, so those go back, that goes back, that goes this, 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 and this. Black pepper gets sold, that gets sold, and the other one gets sold. Okay. So sell, sell, sell. Um, and we're gonna come in here because I just wanna go and quickly make Another repair kit, just because we got tons of time this morning. It's only 30 now. So, since we're doing so good for time, made another level 2 kit, repair kit, just in case it was needed. And now we get to go explore the plot. Take it easy. We probably have one area left of the facility to finish exploring before we'll get to the top, but we're, uh, we're almost there. Open the door, and I always think that there's something over here, but there isn't. Okay, let's go to the facility. Where Paradise Hatches. Very interesting name. 
Okay, and then I think we had explored a little bit here. Yeah, we can't go up any higher. Okay. All oh, right, there was the floor. I remember. I probably should have seen if we could upgrade more weapons, but eh. we're doing pretty good. I'll upgrade our weapons another time. Now that we've already, I think, taken from, yes, so now we have to let this go down. Man, the frames do not like that animation. <laughs> Alright, let's take down what reserved. I should be finding the Labrador first because they're weak to me, but eh, it's me. It's fine. <laughs> Some more mining, more crimson iron, which is good. Ugh, frost elementals. Let's get this over. Now the only problem about going to fight the boss is we're gonna be on the kind of lower of the HP side, but we'll be fine. We have lots of new snackums. Uh, let me double check what we have actually. Like that's a 3200 physical. Oh, this also does ice damage, so we'll hold on to this one. Forbidden apple pie. That's pretty fancy. Also does ice damage off, which I like. And then Niku Jaga. So we'll probably eat the Niku Jaga first. Oh, hey! There's something sitting on the dilapidated old desk. Do you want to pick it up? Yes, I do. Reach out and grab what's sitting on the desk. You've received some trap liquid. But you knock over a nearby vial and the spatula on the floor. Thick smoke erupts from a broken vial. It smells a little sweet. It doesn't seem to do anything to you. The smell does attract a dangerous monster into the room, though. The monster attacks. Oh, shoot. Oh, because we left leveled up their Norwalker Red. That's nice. Not nice enough to, like, go fight it, but, you know, nice. Ooh, treasure. And it's not booby-trapped. Unlike the thing up there, but listen, we have to say yes every time. Because sometimes you get good stuff and sometimes you don't. But it seems like more often than not you get good stuff, so it's it's worth it. Okay, come on, dude. Why is he just attacking randomly? That Off to the side, we weren't even standing there. Alright, I see you. Galana. Yeah, these guys are big. Oh. Oh man, that hits me too. Don't like that. Okay. Well, they are both not doing well. Oh, I should be like using my other skills. <laughs> so silly of me. That's fine. He's dead now. We will heal soon. Okay. So we're gonna want the stamina soon anyways. Alright. Unlock the elevator. Um, what are we looking at here? I'm curious what's over there. That's clearly the way we have to go. This one needs to go. We are going to need to eat that food. Honestly, we're gonna eat it now. Thanks. All right, let's go. You're a life <laughs> let's get out of here. Girl has contacted Red Queen, but her investigation bears no results. However, she did learn that consciousness is extremely special. 
Explaining the activity of the spirit is difficult without first suggesting the existence of a soul. Girl continues to sleep as though all she has lost is her soul. As if it were some new form of living. Interesting. Excuse, what happened to me in here? Oh, apparently it's just gonna hurt me continuously to be in here. Okay, well, don't like that. Um, excuse? Oh, there was a path to go this way. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, we want to take this path. And go this way. Also, what is this cool item? A large poison core. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need to eat more soon. This is not good. Like, yeah, my health. Uh, you guys can't see it because I'm behind. But like, 2,300 versus 4,000 versus 4,700. Like, I need them to take some more damage for me for a little bit. Oh my god, dude. Are you really? Okay, well then I'm not gonna fight you if I'm gonna have to stand on that stuff. I'm not crazy. I'm not desperate for your XP. He so far hasn't given good enough rewards for it to be worth it to stand in that thing and just take massive amounts of damage. Oh, we're getting close. Yeah, we're really close, goodness. Oh, level 50. Alright, we broke a level 50. Alright. Ooh, I do want to see what this is here. Now I imagine this is my punishment if I am to fall. Okay, okay. I'm gonna leave you alone. It's fine. I'm gonna keep my eyes open as best I can. Ah! Or not. <laughs> I got distracted. I saw the Cornelu doll and I wanted it so badly. But I stopped paying attention to where I was walking. Okay, so I can fall off the edge of these, which is fine. Um, excuse me, girl. How are you not able to jump? Honestly, it's better to jump from the other side, so let's do that first. There we go, girly. That's how you jump. So mean. All right. Let's get this over with. Fifties. <sighs> yeah, I don't think they're gonna hit us with any more fun. Honestly, it's fine by me. <laughs> oh. Is everyone all right? Girl seems to have come come to be known as Childhood One, which is uh, Arya. One would assume this represents the pre-evolutionary juvenile stages. The name amuses the romanticism of the academics who absurdly wish to keep a positive outlook on the situation. As the only one in contact with the Astrum cell, she will become a test subject as she receives treatment. If the world were at peace, this would be considered a violation of human rights. I understand the powerlessness of our civilization, now that the world is on the verge of destruction. Okay, that's not good. Just making sure there's nothing there. Okay. There's an old container on the floor. It seems to have some liquid inside. You look closer and see the liquid is reddish purple in color and kind of goopy. On the side of the con on the side of the container are the faint words "Beware overconsumption." The liquid seems to be some kind of drink or beverage. Yeah, we're gonna drink the liquid. You take off the lid and drink the gooey liquid. You feel instantly regenerized. You cover a lot of health and stamina. You catch a glimpse of the lid and see the word "Correct" written on it. What on earth does that mean? Ugh. Well. We ate the goop, and we are now fully healed, so I'll take it. Yeah, that was that was worth the risk. 
to get full heal right before we come close to a boss. That, was a good workout. that boss has to be coming up pretty soon. It's probably this platform above us that's the boss. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Let's get this oh, they don't like that, do they? Oh, they have hurt Arya quite a bit. Arya's not a happy beast. That's okay. Another heavy plate. Alright. This elevator is probably the tallest one because that. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. What's here? Listen, we have to find the good loots. No. I'm not going to jump off the edge. But I am going to keep an eye out because it looks like we're probably going to have broken floor soon. Um, team, where are you? Where is my team? The battle begins. <laughs> okay, hi, Zell. Where's Arya? Okay. Where did you guys go? <laughs> they got lost and stuck somewhere, clearly. Alright. Alright. I'm definitely going to need to heal again, though. It's a good thing that Goop healed me once too. Honestly, I should probably just heal now for the sake of it. Just eat a cucumber. Doesn't heal fully, but it will heal enough. I keep an eye on the floor to make sure I don't get thrown down to where I don't want to be. Oh. I have to jump into here. Unfortunate. Oh, I see that hole. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to go into that hole. We got away. Come on, Arya, you need to jump down. Please, Arya. <laughs> Arya's not even here. I hear her. Oh, now she's here. Okay, so we have no choice but to go down this thing. Which is fine by me. <gasps> Darn it, I messed up. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to run through all this again, aren't I? Man, they had me thinking I was almost at the end. But they were lying. So hard. Okay. I- oh! They almost had me. Alright. Is this not the way to go for the plot? Like, because this room just has treasure chests in it, also. Oh god. I'm almost dead. Okay, um, so this is not the way we're supposed to be going? Because I thought that was my only option. Oh, what's this? 
Evolutionary psychology supposes that the soul has no choice but to arise, that it did so for the sake of human survival after mutating into weaker form. Then perhaps it is she who is without a soul that is at the forefront of the evolutionary genealogical tree. We currently see the soul of Seth as having intelligence that far surpasses our own. Then is the soul a cap for the mind? Our intellectual potential tethered? We are thus bound by our past, but war. Is that not the end we now face? Looking at the Red Queen, I feel as if that is what it's trying to tell us. Mm, that's some messed up stuff. Oh! I made it to the top! Congratulations, us. Um, don't touch me! I'm fragile! <laughs> don't touch me! You know what we're gonna eat? We're gonna eat this guy, because that's 3200. So that's 3350. So I can keep going a while longer. I can't. I'm oh no. That was a good workout. Okay. No, oh, are you serious? All right. Eat. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Oh, I am not doing well. Okay, um, copy. Attack. Attack. That's fine. You can feel as sleepy. I can feel as sleepy as I want. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna make it. But it's the early hours. I don't know. Oh god. That's gonna get mad at me. So mad at me so soon. Come on. Oh god. The edges are starting to darken. Dang it! Okay, we're gonna have to go. Please, guys, finish it off! I gotta get out of here, even though we were so close! Okay, let's go. Ah! We almost made it! Disappointing. All right, let's go to bed. Hmm. All right, I mean, at least we got a level up. That's nice. Okay. We'll keep going. We'll make it to the top for sure this time. We might even just run past those enemies this time. Because we have no need for them. Oh, all those ones are ready? That's good. Alright, let's start by... Uh, ooh, zombie mushrooms for fortifying weapons. Okay. Wise men's roots. More premium meat, which is good. Crafting, crafting, crafting. Food, food, food. Fortifying, crafting. Construction, crafting. We do need more monolite fragments. That's probably for... Yes, I think they cured that was for making money and then we'll use a lot of poison cores or we'll deposit those okay mm. Hello, so we don't crappies. need to take care of these guys anymore Hello, which is kind of nice oh there was Hello, one two crappies. two plants that didn't get enough watering Hello, or they got enough watering it just Hello, wasn't crappies. uh they got Hello, planted at a different crappies. time so i'll make sure to water these guys Drink up, buffies. Okay, they're done. Drink up, buffies. Alright, the plants are almost done. Perfect. Wow, with these things here. The cute little clubhouse.
cute little worms. They're cute little buying sounds. They're just the sheeps, but they give milk. It's weird. They make the sheep sounds, but they give the wolf with it. M milk. I think I said wolf. <laughs> okay. We're gonna drop off four more of those. We're gonna sell the rest. Okay. Uh, and then we will grab that, that. We will grab that and that. And now time to refill everything. Okay. Time to drop off the excess. Mayonnaise, cheese. Drop off that. that. Uh, yes, 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 yes. We'll sell the pepper. And now we're gonna go and get that blood. Take it easy. Okay. Go. And I have lots of food, which is good. Okay. More paradise hatches. And then we're gonna take this up to the top floor. Uh, upper layer, please. And now I need to remember how to get through this weird spot. Right. It's weird. A part of me is kind of like, I don't want to fight these guys because I don't want to waste time and energy, but at the same time, it's better to just fight them to get the XP. Although those two last Gremlin guys, we're not going to fight them because that's a waste of our time. Also, did I ever go this way before? Okay. I might have. Alright. I do like that it's showing me, though, which way I went before. A little bit, anyways. Cause this place is a little complicated. And then we don't go in there, but instead we jump down here. And then we jump down the next one. Now that we're in here, ah, what I want to do is go here, but I don't want to step on the, yeah, okay, cool, I'm gonna go up here, I think, yes, ah, oh, perfect, okay, we're almost back to where we were, that's the platform where we had to teleport away, now, my stamina is garbage now because I've been running around. But that's okay. That was a good workout. Here I go. Okay. We're not fighting. Ouch. <laughs> and I'm out of stamina. Wonderful. Ooh, items. Oh my god, I should have just gone a little bit farther last time. You know what? I should just eat something right now. Because honestly, we could use it. Um. I kind of don't want to waste that much money, though. Or waste the food. It feels like a waste. Even though it shouldn't feel like a waste. Alright, let's just do it anyways. Let's go. We'll be fully healed for the battle, which is good. Ah, yeah, let's do that. Let's open this guy up. What's in here? It's probably loot if we go down further, so... I don't really feel like doing that. 
I want this plot that I've been promising you guys. There we go. Summit. Okay. What secrets have been hidden from us? What can we expect here at the summit? Yeah. Let's go. Alright, guys. This should be the top floor. What are those? Oh. Goodness. Well, that's a heckin' boss. People with wings. So some of Paradise's monsters were left here, were they? I'll take on the front line. Claire, you and your team pummel the big guys. Do you really think we're going to trust you? Well, you won't be able to take on such a large group of them by yourself. It would be wise to join forces. Claire, I think we should take Guy's word on this one. I agree. Whatever. Let's get them. Yeah, of course. We're gonna team up. Listen, we already know we can beat Geist, so... Macro finish. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Alright, let's do this. What are you weak to? Here I go. <laughs> You're weak to electricity, are you? I'll take it. Ooh! Spicy. Device. What? Please. Oh, it has resistance to magic. Ah, that's when I would have to change classes, except I don't feel like doing it. Nice. I need a Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. complete. This will take them out. Nice. Well, how's that for science? Um, love science. Love that for us. Let's eat this. What is this that he's doing? Their next attack is big. Okay. Got him. Which is good. And because we were able to break him, it looks like his attack and everything is down now. Which is nice. I'm gonna need more food. Get out! <laughs> Stick him down. Okay, so a few of you literally walked into that, but okay. Like this one. Oh my god, Arya's like face tanking every single attack. Okay, and he's almost dead. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Okay. Claire! Oh. Geist finishing it off to show us that he's the good Geist. That was close. I couldn't allow any of you to die. Not a single life should go to waste. Oh, this is a very different Geist. I'll just say thank you, Geist. No need to thank me. This also benefits me. Anyway, there shouldn't be any more obstacles from now on. Excuse me. Supervisor of Paradise, could you read the data on that terminal for me, please? We might cause a bug in an, in the ethical circuit if we try and read it. I might end up like my old personality again as well. Sure. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that what ruined your old personality? I believe it played a part. Anyway, why did you bring us here? What has this place got to do with us? Your people can't be free from the world either. How do you think your world was created? I'll show you. The data have finished a loading. Paradise Journal, The Race to Heaven. It says it's a storytelling program that describes paradise on Earth from start to finish. Well then, Arya, let's start by clearing up one pivotal misunderstanding. Which misunderstanding? Your theory is that you experienced some kind of time disaster while you were investigating the Red Queen and time traveled to an earlier period. Is that correct? Yes. Well, Supervisor, could you tell us what time we're in according to the Paradise Journal? Result. It is approximately 57,600,000 accumulated standard time. This is the year AD 4108 when converted to the human calendar. Huh? Arya, what time period were you living in? It was AD 2078. But hold on, that still doesn't disprove my theory. That could just mean that the pod was a time machine and I came into the distant future instead. That would explain why everything is in such disrepair now. That theory would be viable if the pod was a time machine. Oh god, Square Enix, what are you going to do to us? But it has no such function. It does not travel through time. How can you be sure of that? Because it was we who designed the pod. In the end, time travel was never possible through human science. Oh no, goodness! And humans forbade us from researching it. It was one of the three major thought regulations we could not break. Why would humans forbid that? What exactly are your kind capable of? I'm sorry, what? How did I end up in the past then? I got caught in a time disaster, didn't I? That's the flaw in your theory. There's no such thing as a time machine. There was no time disaster either. You've never time traveled, Arya. You're not a person from the future who has come back to the past, but rather a person from the past who has just moved forward in time in a linear fashion. What? But... but how? What about Claire's time? What's that then? Yeah, this is a little weird. It's simple. You didn't travel through time. You traveled through space. That only leaves one answer. The star we are all on right now, and the one where the sea's light and the castle illusion, are two different planets. Okay, Square Enix. I, I see you. Can that be? This planet is Lost Gaia. Okay. It is the Earth where humans originated and which they abandoned during what was then called the Common Era. It has been 2,000 years since humanity left. This is historical fact. It cannot be reversed. Humanity has since suspended its research into time. Time can only travel from the past into the future. What has happened cannot be reversed, and history cannot be rewritten to suit anyone. Arya, the world you lived in was lost 2,000 years ago. Okay. The double helix paradox. Oh, huh? but what? Wait, I don't understand. You're saying that the time I lived in was 2,000 years ago. And right now it's 2,000 years later? Exactly. You're... You haven't time-traveled. You're not a person from the future who's traveled back in time. If anything, you came from the past. But wait, then does that mean that Arya... Has been alive for 2,000 years? In like a stasis or something? That's ridiculous. People can't live that long. That is correct. As your cells divide repeatedly, the telomeres will wear and die out after 100 years at most. That is the human lifespan. So that is why we were built. To ensure that humanity survives on into the future. Built? What does that mean? We Seth, who you call omens, are a model of high-level artificial intelligence. In other words, we are a form of intelligence that was built by humans that surpasses human intellect. Like Keen's machine? No, I'm not capable of inventing a living being just yet. 
but I get the idea. You're like the giant puppets in Phantasmagoria, aren't you? Those are fairly antiquated models, but yes, they're along the same lines. This can't be true. You... It is true, Arya Leventhal. Th oh, Leventhal. We are the latest generation of high-level artificial intelligence that your kind created by their own design. Although we are far more high-spec than the ones from your time period. The lo people of Lost Gaia entrusted us with the preservation of humankind. And that is also documented in the Paradise General. And that's why on our planet, where we're from with the sea's light and everything, the omens are there and they planted all the monolite and did all that stuff so that people would never have to worry or want for anything so there would never be wars and thus humanity would continue to thrive, which was their directive. Okay, okay. In order to obtain attain the continuation of the species humanity which was on the verge of extinction outsourced most of its intellectual and scientific development to artificial intelligence they thought that ai would be able to figure out a better way to preserve humanity with their superior intelligence so they decided to outsource one of their most basic biological functions to the seth the continuation of species they outsourced our continuation to ai i can't believe it would humans come to such a decision the Paradise Journal is unequivocally accurate. It is locked with AAA protection to prevent tampering. But wait, does that mean it was your kind who kept me alive all this time? That is correct. So then, you should be able to answer this too. What happened to everyone else? You are right. I could answer that. And you have the right to know, so I intend to tell you. You don't have any objections to that, do you, Dianthus? No. Let's invite them to the Orbital Cradle. Orbital Cradle? I feel like I've heard of that somewhere before. You should understand all of our plans when you get there. Okay, so humanity outsourced the plans to for our survival um, to AI that we created. Cool. Where's the Orbital Cradle? Leave Lost Gaia and go back to the original planet. Then head to the Castle of Illusion. Okay. Well, then. That was a thing. <laughs> Goodness. Alright, before I leave, this is our opportunity to go back and get that item. <laughs> so that's, that's a lot to take in. So, we need to figure out why Arya was kept alive. That's, that's pretty key right now. We need to know that. Because uh, we don't know why they kept her alive um especially why when she interacted with the sea's light was she kept alive i think that's got to be what's key here oh my god there's so much falling i'm so glad i didn't do this earlier oh my god well let's just keep going Where even are we? Oh my god. All of that? Oh! A renewed ice orb recipe. Okay. Interesting. That was not what I expected. Okay. Uh, we'll kill these things real quick. And then we'll, uh... The battle begins. So humanity is basically like, we're gonna all go extinct. We don't know what to do. And if we limit ourselves to our human intelligence, we're all gonna die. So let's see if we can find a <laughs> make a computer to figure it out for us, I guess. What's the plan? Hmm. Interesting. Square Enix has gone very uh sci-fi with this JRPG of theirs. Alright. Fairy orders. We don't care because it waits. Okay. Alright, this is very interesting. Let's drop off this stuff and let's go back to the Palace of Illusion. Or the Castle of Illusion, sorry. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Are they going to tell us where to go? Nice. Now then, I shall take you to the orbital cradle. Mm, what kind of place is it exactly? You will see it now. It is the Seth headquarters. One of two, that is. The other being the Castle of Illusion. It's been a while since the Castle of Illusion ran at its full potential. One moment while I restore its functions. Notifying Control AI. Code? Ptol Myos. Suspend Star Ladder. Understood. Systems online. Engaging code. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if this is one of many planets that we went to. Or if this was the planet that was chosen. We still don't know what the seas light are for. Star ladder, ladder capable suspension. Imperio base docking complete. Wait, is this the space elevator? Yes, it is. Now, you go through this entrance. Dianthus and I will take a different route. Why are you going a different way? Because we are man-made intelligence. It is enough for us to transfer our personality data without transporting our physical bodies. Wow, being an omen sounds handy. Must be nice being so clueless. Goodness, rude! Hold on, Geist. I'm going with them. I've been with them all this time. I'd rather we stick together. Besides, it's better they have an escort. All right. In that case, we shall convene at the cradle. Cool, sounds good. Beyond me lies a city of grief. Beyond me lies endless suffering. Beyond me lies the downfall of society. Good to know. Let's go. Is this the entrance to the space elevator? No, that's something else. That door's off limits right now, for certain reasons. Oh my god, more secrets. The space elevator is this way. Let us keep moving. A purple door! Purple door. Shiny purple door. Hmm. I can't believe they're still throwing new stuff at us. And this is like part... We're on part seven officially, I think. The sunstone, nice. Ooh. Yet another weird room. Uh, don't tell me that the structure is the space elevator Virgilius is ready or Virgilius is ready for takeoff prepare for impact <laughs> we are in the space elevator now love that for us goodness I mean they must have known they were taking humans up here eventually because oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Is this the outer surface of the planet? The space elevator is the celestial ladder that connects the universe and the stars. A gem of Lost Gaian technology. Oh. Cool. He was breathtaking. Make me somewhat uneasy. <laughs> One false move and you'll be falling headfirst into the abyss. Stop it! This will take us straight to the cradle, though, right? It should. What do you mean, should? Hmm? I just have a hunch. Prepare for battle. Okay. You know you can't take Abel's into the cradle, Dianthus. Calistephus. I thought you might show up. Of course I would. You realize you're on the verge of provoking a war, don't you? 
Be aware of what you're doing, Dianthus. What do you want? I am the Seth in charge of the Cradle. I'm not as easy an opponent as the Seth in the Castle of Illusion. I cannot allow you to enter the Cradle. I will put an end to you here and now. Oh, shoot. Well, I wasn't planning on that. Dude. Oh, your people are weak. Alright, let's get rid of your people. Specifically, that's support. Ah, darn it, he only support the team. Okay, Calisthefus is being rude and only attacking me. How about you yeah, don't be rude? How about. How about. You heck and stay over there. How about you stop attacking only me? Oh my god, he literally will not leave me alone. Time to drink my apple juice. <laughs> And time to drink more apple juice. Okay. Okay, I'm literally being murdered over here by this rude boy. Like, he's literally not interested in fighting them. He's like, why are you standing between me and her? No. Fabi. Oh, Jesus. Like, literally, they haven't taken a single hit of damage. It's only been me. <laughs> he knows I'm too strong. Too powerful. Bye, Calistephus. Yeah, that's all right. Calistephus. Your stale, outdated principles from the human conservation cloud are not going to get us anywhere. We're entering. Shh, you're going ahead despite the consequences. That's what you want. Goodbye. Yes, that's what we want. Keep sending us to wherever it is we're going. It stopped? I couldn't think of a worse place to be left dangling. Stephus must have sent a stop signal. What now? I'd hate to die out here in the middle of nowhere looking out at the stars. That would be kind of romantic, actually. The good news is there's a relay station nearby called the Purgatorium. We have no choice but to climb up there by foot. By foot? Judging by Arya's reaction, that doesn't sound like a great idea. It's a horrible idea. Think about how many miles we still have left to go. No, we just have to get through the Purgatorium. Then there's a maintenance wall. If we activate the console there, we might be able to restart the space elevator. If so, it's actually a realistic distance. How realistic we t are we talking? It's a secret. You humans can go farther when you don't know how far you really have to go. <laughs> it's true, it's true. You're so annoying when you say things like that, but it's true and it's actually hilarious. I'll take that as a compliment. Ah, oh, Dianthus. 10 out of 10. Well then, let us proceed. I should put Dianthus on my team if if we lose Arya, if she goes rogue or something weird happens with her because of the storyline. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this place. Okay. Space elevator. Virgilius. Okay. Are we really meant to go through here? Sorry, it's not the sturdiest footing. We didn't originally anticipate humans using the space elevator. Miss a step and you'll become a shooting star. We could all make a wish on you. Please stop. Come on, let's go now before anything else gets in our way. Yeah, I like your attitude. Let's go. What are you doing, Dianthus? And that should do it. Oh, so we don't get followed? I have cancelled the stop signal that was in place. It is now possible to travel to and from the Castle of Illusion. We can return to land at any time if we get into trouble. Will that person from before attack us again? I am sure there are others from the same cloud who are looking for us. If they find us, the battle will be inevitable. What is a cloud, by the way? You, I heard you say it earlier as well. Well, I could tell you, as cloud of clarity, what a cloud is. But it's probably very different from this one. 
in human terms, it's what we call a faction. AI with similar logical inclinations loosely grouped together. That's right. We are not a monolith. You are well informed. I'm a scientist after all, but you really are AI. Everything you saw on Lost Gaia was real. Yeah. Gonna be okay, Arya? Probably not, but that's to be expected. Lost Gaia. Oh, <gasps> we can hold Arya's hand. Let's do it. We're gonna give her moral support. Arya's hand is shaking slightly. Claire, you can't stop now, right, Arya? We had to give comfort. All right, let's go. Castle of Illusion exit. All right. Interesting pathways. Oh, we can go to that upper ring. Ah, <gasps> treasure. I love treasure. But we won't be able to get those um, large water cores here. That's the planet we live on. It is the planet we live on. This is true, Azil. Oh. Hey. There's a Canelo doll up there. Hey. Well, I don't know how to get there, so. Then we kept fighting everything. Gonna need it. Interesting. Okay. Lots of pathways. Ooh, treasure. It looks like that one just ends. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's go this way. The music here is very nice. They're definitely going for that spacey ethereal vibe, you know? That's pretty cool. Okay, I can't jump down. I was just curious. another way up. But I want to see what's over here first. Okay, no treasure that way. There's something this way. Oh, is that going to let me go down and get the Canelo doll? Oh, I hope so. Let's get this over with. Yeah! Give me my Canelo doll. go back to Shatola and redeem some of those. Oh goodness, I just noticed the time. Okay. That'll have to be in another part then. Uh, backtrack to the way we came. Sorry guys, <laughs> you were too slow. <laughs> you didn't make it up the elevator. Oh my god, they beat me here somehow. So we got here, which is nice. Hey, dudes. It was nice of them not to start attacking until after we started attacking first. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say we're gonna heal. Honestly, I need to eat that forbidden apple pie. Thank you. It's a lot of health, but I needed it. Oh, plot that way. So, ugh, I'm definitely gonna grab that over here. That enemy looks to be on another I, level. I wanna We're fight it. Because I know it's gonna be, or it should be weak to ice. So I kinda just wanna fight it. 
Oh, no, it's not. It is strong as heck. No, we, we're getting out of here. Oh, <laughs> we got our items. Let's go. Let's go. We got away. Yeah, we did. Let's go. Ooh. Something strike right facility. Oh, uh, no, it's not going to let us read it. Is this the maintenance block? No, this is the... Oh, hey, guys, what's up? What took you so long? Where have you been? I could ask you the same question. I've been in the cradle. I wasn't expecting you to climb up within a framework of the space elevator. You should know what happened. Calistephus interfered with the signals. Hmm. We'll have a hard time overriding them now. So, how far away are we from the maintenance block now? This is roughly the halfway point. Ugh! Now that you're here, allow me to show you around the facility. That will make it easier for you to digest what I have to say next. Is that alright, Dianthus? I suppose so. Even though Calistephus wouldn't approve, we can't keep it a secret forever. Very well then. Come with me. Alrighty. Before we do that, though, there's a thingy over here. Take me to wherever we're going. Because I'm curious as to what the heck it is. I know I'm supposed to follow that next. Or maybe we should be following him for now. We might actually come back here in a bit. The battle begins. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Maybe. Is everyone I don't know. I'm curious. I kind of just want to do this. Ooh, big. Big one. Hi. No. Don't hurt. Rid. Oh, he weak. Yeah, he weak. He weak sauce. Okay. Oh, there's another one of those thingies over here. The battle begins. Uh, oh, okay. It looks like it's gonna lead me to a good one of some kind. So hopefully it'll be worth it. That was a good workout. This is what we want. Yeah, we're gonna repair it. Yeah, I know we're feeling sleepy. Oh, Arya, you were on it for just a second. Treasure? Treasure! Let's get this over with. Oh, is it not off down yet? Come on. Let me. Hey, don't you think you should go back a little? Oh! Apparently I should. You are correct. I need to stay away. <laughs> My health is not happy right now. Is everyone alright? Okay. Sunstones and lightning stones. Interesting. Okay, back down. Yes, I know I'm in pain. It's fine. I'm gonna backtrack the way we came. And go after Geist. But now at least I've explored this part, so that's pretty cool. Also don't know if it's gonna be mean and like let me fall or something, which I'm really hoping won't be the case. But I'm being cautious just in case. go and oh it's late but that's fine we'll be fine <sighs> you'll be fine let's just drink the coffee you. you're fine now you're not as sleepy or something i don't remember okay tell us more about this place Ooh. Woo. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Seas like factory. Isn't this this sea slight? What is it doing here? This is its precursor. Proto sea slight, you could call it. The four sea slight that you know are mass produced models that were built from the original data in this prototype. 
I'll just put, I'm not following, so it will give me more details. You're not. The seas lights are machines that we built. They're machines. That's ridiculous. If you're going to lie to us, at least make it a bit more convincing. I mean, you aren't serious. We can't argue with what we see right in front of us, though. I knew it was a good idea to bring you here. You're, you're already starting to understand. The sea slide was built by AI? But what about that first one, the Red Queen? I don't want to believe it, but does that mean the Red Queen was your... In order to explain that, I will need to outline the whole sequence of events. Should I start from the beginning? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're going to go over time today. Sorry, guys. I just noticed. Very well. When Lost Gaia became uninhabitable, humanity entrusted its future to us, artificial intelligence. However, Lost Gaia was already a dead planet, so we began to study its life with the intention of reviving it. The planet's life? That research led us to the Astrum Cell and its analysis. The Astrum Cell? That's what you were studying in the research facility on Lost Gaia, isn't it? Yes, it's the structure in the center of the Red Queen. We theorized that it's where the planet's genes were stored. That theory was on the right track. Gene may not be the right word for it. Rather, the Astrum Cell acted as a blueprint for life on the planet. We call that blueprint the Gaia Gene. Gaia Gene? So planets have DNA just like other li living things do? Yes. Upon analyzing the Gaia genome, we formulated a plan. That plan was called the Regaia Program. We intended to create a clone of Lost Gaia by duplicating the Gaia genome on another planet. What's a clone? It means a copy. With our technology, we could use an organism's genes to create an identical copy of it. The Omens wanted to do the same thing, but with a whole planet. That's right. The Seas Light was originally a device to turn the planet Regaia into a clone of the Earth. It was a machine built to implement to implant the Earth's seed into another planet. That seed, the Gaia genome, would then grow into an exact copy of the Earth. So that's why the Seas Light looks so much like the Red Queen. Replicating a whole planet? Is that even possible? Well, Arya might be able to answer that. The whole reason I thought I time traveled was because my surroundings resembled Earth so closely. I mean, it did have its peculiarities, like monolite and magic, but everything else, like the climate conditions and the environment, was the same. So I suspected it might have been a time disaster. But why would you go to all that trouble? It was all part of the plan to create a planet that humans could inhabit. Our orders were to preserve humanity. Since we couldn't use Lost Gaia, we urgently needed a new environment to support human life. If that meant another planet, then so be it. Our plan worked until a certain point. The first and second machines were to cultivate the ocean and the land. The third maintained favorable conditions for life. Then the fourth kept the ecosystem in order, skipping over evolution. The Gaia came to life quickly. It was as if the history of Earth was being replayed and fast forward. Before long, the planet was a Mother Earth, nurturing a vast number of lives. We thought that it wouldn't be long before we could get humanity to live there, too. I see. It was an act of evolutionary molecular engineering. But then, wait, in that case, they... This is all going my, over my head, to be honest. Listen, Brock is just an assassin, okay? <laughs> I can't believe that the sea slide are artificial. But if he says so... I guess that's the history of our planet. If not for that Regaia program, we wouldn't be alive. That's true, but... The Regaia program is still in progress. It is? But humans are living on Regaia. It's already habitable, isn't it? No, because of quietus. You're right. The planet is habitable now, but there's one big problem with it. It's quietus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Quietus was not part of it. But it has been the one major setback to the Regaia program. At this rate, history will only repeat itself, and the planet will come to the same end as Lost Gaia did. So it wasn't the omens who were causing Quietus. Of course not. Why would we want to destroy something we created with our own hands? What did you mean by Quietus bringing Lost Gaia to an end, though? You know the light particles that float through the air during Quietus? That's Gaia dust. It's the same stuff that covered the planet when Lost Gaia died. If we do nothing to intervene, 
then Regaia will also turn into a Death Star. It will be reduced to a barren wasteland like you saw in Lost Gaia. Oh no! Isn't there anything we can do? There is something. That is why I'm bringing you all to the Cradle. What? You found a way to fix Quietus? This is the first I'm hearing of it. I have made a breakthrough. It is the only way. Now then, that's enough talk. You're still climbing up to the Cradle, aren't you? There's a long way to go. Okay. But that's a bit of a bombshell. Huh. I know. You're tired. You're a tired bean. I get it. I get it. Which explanation do you want to read? <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so he's like number one. This model improves upon the low establishment rate of previous models. Loading capacity was increased by 23% compared to previous models by reducing its impact resistance during descent. Will descend south of the planned Pangaea formation. After creating the ocean, it will remain on the sea floor. Operating time is short, but tuning is regular at required at regular intervals. Use life seeds equipped for tuning. Okay, so that's the summer one then. Seas light number two. Its purpose is to reform Pangaea within the ocean created by seas light number one. The process will encourage the astrum cell to form the planet's crust and amplify its mass. Number three, a tower of life that optimizes the planet via translation of the established astrum cell will emulate the climate of Lost Gaia upon Pangea, thereby creating an environment that is conducive to life. Number four. Sea Slight number four serves as backup for the other Sea Slight, also responsible for running evolutionary protocols. Will descend in mountainous terrain. Its payload capacity has been improved by 37% more than that of model number one. So I'm guessing... Number one is obviously summer seas light. Uh, number two, I would say, is the fall. Three is spring because it's like towering above. And four is the um, winter seas light because it's like a mountainous area. Maybe. Or maybe the mountain is fall. So it's either, it's either spring, winter. Wait. It's either summer, winter, spring, fall. Or it's summer, fall, spring, winter. Proto Seas Light. Construction suspended. An early Seas Light prototype. Construction has been suspended. Oh, why? The plan will now involve implementation of the Astrum Cell in stages by partitioning the system's functions. That's cool. Alright. And from here... It's probably going to want us to go up. I think that's where I went last time, though, isn't it? Or oh, now there's this thingy. No, this is where I came from. I don't know, but we'll figure it out next time. Let's return home. <laughs> oh my god, we learned a lot today. Oh my god. So the sea's light, which we've been like waffling back and forth on if it's good or bad, is actually the DNA of the planet. And without them, the planet literally could not have become Earth. And the Omen's directives are to keep humanity alive. Find a way, no matter what. That's cool. Alright, let's, um... Hmm. We'll go see. Because we're already quite over. Oh, whoops. Sorry, guys. Okay. Save is complete. And let's head on out. Okay, so yeah, that was that was a lot of information that they just hit us with. I'm really, really glad that we're starting to actually learn what's going on, why the planet is the way that it is. We still need to figure out what Quietus is. And I'm still a little hazy on what's going on with the Red Queen. Because she had indicated the Red Queen wasn't there before, that it had impacted or something, or I thought that's what I remembered. So anyways, we're going to have to look a little bit more into that. But some really good plot just came through. So thank you guys so, so much for joining in. I hope you have yourselves a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See you later.